Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of us making our own carbon fiber slam panel for the GTIR. Part one was us making the fiberglass skeleton for the carbon to go onto. In part two, let's just get on with putting the carbon on, shall we? Okay, so it's now tacky to the touch so we can get our carbon laid up uh, and let it cure fully before we add the first coat of resin. Day two. Okay, so it has cured now, and you can see it's looking pretty good. Got a bit of an area here where got a bit of a problem where the base coat wasn't quite dry, so it's kind of come through a little bit on the carbon, but otherwise it's looking quite good. So on to the first coat of the resin now and then we can get it trimmed down a little bit before we add more coats getting there it's a bit of a painful thing this i've got to admit but i've not done it before so it's not going to go perfectly is it but uh, yeah let's get the first resin coat done so at least everything will stay in place hours later okay we're back one day after the first coat of resin and it's hard which is good and it's looking pretty decent it's a good base it's a good start um, so yeah it's starting to take shape I am happy so you can hear my stomach rumbling um, next thing I'm gonna do now is just gonna give it a little trim with scissors I still want to leave some overrun so that I can do the final kind of cutting and uh, finish when we've added another layer of the glass cloth to the back to make it more rigid because it's still not rigid enough. Um, so I'm just going to trim it a little bit and then I'm going to flat it off with sandpaper and then give it four more coats or three more coats of resin today, just short gaps between the coats to get it to the kind of almost final step basically of being ready. So. I'll video me doing the little trim and I'll video me doing the sand and the first resin but then Spongebob will take over um, and we will join it when, hopefully tomorrow, when all the coats of resin have been added and we're ready to do the sort of final sand to get our smooth finished surface. One eternity later. Okay, so all day yesterday was spent adding resin to the part and it took like 12 hours. I added four coats of resin in total. It's supposed to add three, but I added four because I always seem to almost go through into the fabric when I sand it back. So I thought I'll add an extra layer, see if that helps. Um, so I'm looking at it now, it's cured overnight. I've had the garage set at 20 degrees all night. Um, let's take a look at it and then we can talk about the next steps. Okay, so this is where we're up to. So a few blemishes where the resin has kind of bubbled, 
which is a bit annoying, but hopefully it doesn't go too far through. Um, yeah, I think that's looking pretty good and it's looking pretty sort of straight as well, but it's still a bit flexible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and add a final layer of uh, glass mat. Got that down there cut ready because I thought I might have to. I'm gonna go and do that, uh, let that cure, so that's gonna be another day. Uh, and then we'll join after a sponge bob where I will show you the result with the final bit of fiberglass and show you how rigid it is. Um, and then it's going to be cutting it down to size and then it's going to be uh, sanding it all, getting it all smooth, I hope. And then it's going to be cutting the holes for the bonnet catch and um, releasing stuff. And then it's going to be painting it front and back. So still quite a bit to do, very time consuming. If I'd had a mould, then this would have been a much simpler thing, of course. But uh, I'm doing it kind of like the old fashioned idiot's way. So there we go, okay, SpongeBob, back in a sec. Uh. Okay, here we are. So you can see now, it's a pretty rigid um, structure. And we've got our final layer on the back. This is currently weighing about 230 grams, which is a bit disappointing. Um, so it will get a little bit lighter than that when I trim it. but. <laughs> Oh well, uh, not much weight saving being done with this, but it's an experiment and it's kind of good fun. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to trim the glass cloth to be the same as the carbon and then I'm going to do the sanding process. Not going to video that because it's boring as shit, but we will rejoin the action uh, when I've done the sanding so you can see what it looks like before we add the final layer of resin onto it and then it's gonna be the cutting out of the holes and the trimming and stuff. And we're kinda of getting there, but it's taken a while. Much, much, much later. Okay, sanding is complete. And you can see now how we're looking. Um, a few little areas gone through into the carbon, but luckily these areas are outside the shape that's gonna be the final piece. So, now that that is done, it's time for the final coat of resin before we do the final kind of like cut uh, and then sort of trimming it all. So uh, yeah, let's do the final coat of resin and then come back tomorrow, it'll be, uh, and have a look at how it looks and then I'll video the kind of final stages basically, but we are nearly there, nearly there. I think this is about a week of effort uh, in total um, to get this part done. And it's shaping up nicely, but um, yeah, it's time consuming. Uh, I think I've already said that in a video, but yeah, I didn't think it would take this long to do something so small, but there we go. Right, resin. Okay, final coat of resin and it's cured now. So it's looking pretty decent as a kind of product. It's pretty solid and everything, but we still have these little bubbles and imperfections that come in. So I'm gonna sand it down quickly and then we will get a video of me cutting it down to size properly and trimming it to the final piece, um, making all the holes in it. And then we'll kind of come back after that which is the next step, which is then I think gonna be um, painting the back and the sides in the uh, satin black, essentially. But uh, yeah, sand and then trim.
Okay, we are back after cutting and trimming and sanding down the panel. I need to think of a better way of kind of starting these videos when I keep saying, okay, okay, but I haven't thought of a better way to do that yet. Maybe I will, but part is now ready for the painting essentially on the backside and then to go to Daniel to lacquer it. But uh, let's have a look and see how it's turned out. And I've already done that too, but here you go. So, all sanded, all trimmed, and cut out. Any little blemishes will go with the lacquering. But, um, backside, won't see because it'll be painted, but um, yeah. There we go, 230 grams we're at so far. So let's do the touching up around the edges and then we're gonna do the spraying on the back and then it'll be off to Daniel and then we can get the thing installed on the car and we will be done. Mm -hmm. 